Working in Arab countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, Bahrain, UAE and others is a very attractive option for many professions. High salaries, no taxes, a large number of job openings and countries that are friendly to all nationalities. So in this video guys, we will discuss which professions can earn 10 or 20 or even more thousand dollars a month for what's currently in demand the required education, training and courses, years of experience, and how citizenship and nationality affect your salary level. Where pays more? At sea, in the desert or in the office, and whether it's better to work on rotation or move with your family. Let's get started. I'm Alex, a professional engineer, certified professional career coach, and a certified professional resume writer. First, let's talk about the highest paid and most in-demand engineering professions. So I've analyzed several reports from resources like like oil and gas job search, Bruno, Heiss and others to compile a list that includes actually petroleum engineer and reservoir engineer that is a specialist in oil and gas field development, geologist, geophysist, petrophysist and general professions related to geology and geophysics. Uh, it, it followed by drilling engineer and drilling supervisors. Regarding many other professions like mechanical engineering, electrical instrumentation, process design, etc. So don't worry guys, while the average salary may be lower than petroleum and drilling engineers, it's still high compared to salaries in many other countries. Sending hundreds of resumes, but not getting any response? Engineer Now is a platform for creating resumes for engineers of all professions. The most crucial aspect of a technical specialist's resume is their professional skills. On the Engineer Now platform, Technical skills and competencies for almost all engineering professions have been manually selected and you can add them to your resume with just one click. In today's world, most companies use AI algorithms to screen resumes, so even the format of your resume matters during the selection process. Engineer Now uses formats tested over the years on hundreds of engineers. Use what truly works. What education is necessary to work in wealthy Arab countries? So since I'm talking about engineers, it's clear that a minimum of a bachelor's degree in your field is required. A master's degree and a PhD give additional advantages and top companies life engineers with a scientific background, academic degrees, publications and patents. The university you graduated from also matters significantly in candidate selection and the master's degree from top global universities uh, with um, renowned names gives you an extra age. I want to highlight that you can obtain such education online from home at a reasonable cost and its value just as much as a full-time education. So what training and courses are needed? I want to talk much but you can just watch the video I, where I discussed already some professional certification. So to be short in Arab countries the status of a professional engineer what's called PE in the USA, PH in Canada and CH in the UK is highly appreciated. You actually see this in many job requirements. Then there are various certifications related to your profession. For example, for drilling engineer, there are IWCF and IADC, as well as many professional courses and trainings. So basically, you need to upgrade yourself, and success will definitely come. How many years of experience are needed? So the more, the better. So the companies favor highly experienced candidates with 15, 20 or even more years of experience. So such candidates have a high chance. But engineers with uh, two, three years of experience uh, shouldn't be discouraged. Uh, this uh, doesn't apply to all professions. I know young people who received expatriate offers with just two, three years of experience. Yes, it's not Saudi Aramco or other top Arab companies, and it's not like $10,000 a month, uh, but but it's still a big service for and also more than a decent salary. How citizenship and nationality affect your salary level? Unfortunately, guys, your salary depends on your citizenship. So many companies have separate policies for citizens of the USA and Canada, European citizens and citizens of India, Asia and the African countries. Yeah, so that's why many people try to move to Canada or to the USA to gain a citizenship before working in other countries. So your salary doesn't depend on your nationality or the skin color, but it depends on your citizenship. So where 
Japanese more sea, desert, or in the office. Usually a field walk. So in the desert or at sea, rotational work scheduled with additional compensation not only for more hours walked, but also for harsh working conditions. Typically at sea has the highest allowance, which can be something like 20, 20 or 40 percent of your base salary. Field work may also include other allowances for remote location, hazardous environment, production operation allowance, etc. It actually significantly increasing your total salary. So the next question is whether it's better to work on rotation or move with your family. So if salary is your priority, rotation work is the way to go. But it also depends on your profession, experience, uh, citizenship again, and actually many other factors right office work has also its advantages like uh, spending every evening with your family and the company may also pay for a good international school for your kids there are actually pros and cons uh, everywhere it's uh, a matter of choice that's it for today guys see you in the next video bye bye